Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony for Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the new Build-A-Figure or Collect and Connect figure from Mattel's 6-inch Halo line. So this is pretty cool. We get the additional parts for this figure in the packages of the other figures, which are already a pretty good value. So I'm pretty pleased with this. He's got some nice paint work on him, some nice sculpt work, and some articulation. So as far as Collect and Connect things go, uh, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. Uh, we'll talk about um, some thoughts about that a little bit later, but let's get him off the stand first and take a closer look at the figure itself. Alright, so let's do some measuring first. If you want to talk about shoulder height, he's about 13 centimeters to like right here, which makes him just about 5 inches. And then from head to tail, he's about 6.5 inches, which makes him about about 16 centimeters. So he's got some size to him. And I'm hearing some people say that the crawler is too big. Uh, well, it's not. You know, in, in the game, if you're going to assassinate the crawler, you can look and see that the Spartans are actually not very much larger than them. So if you're going to assassinate them, which looks a lot like that, you can see the scaling's about right. And if you want to stand him next to it, I think that's pretty darn close. So I'm okay with that. Plus, this is the alpha crawler, so you could fudge it if he's a little bit too big. You could say he's supposed to be, so that's fine. In terms of paintwork, we have that kind of bronzish. I guess that's bronze. Bronze color going throughout, which is really nice and metallic. We have a little bit of uh, topography going on right here with the yellow, so that looks pretty cool. And then we have the orange shading on the spikes and in the mouth, which looks pretty nice. It's not completely uh, perfect since it's not translucent like some of the parts on the crawler would be, but it does look pretty good and I am happy with that. As far as the articulation goes, the head is on a ball peg and then the neck can rotate all the way around back here, so that gives you a little bit better posability. The shoulders have a full swivel, and then a hinge that lets the arms come out to the side. Uh, for the elbow, we have pretty good range in the elbow, pretty good, um, almost probably 90 degrees, and then it goes a little bit farther back. And the rotation, you get some rotation in there. And then for the actual foot, you have a hinge. Now, there's no swivel in the foot, so it's going to be very hard to get the foot to go flat on to the table that you're putting it on, and once you get in post, it's going to be a little bit tricky, but I think you'll be able to do it. It would have been nice if you could rotate this that way, and that would allow you to put him on the surface anywhere without having to really worry about where his legs are, but it's not terrible the way it is. We have a ball peg in the torso, which lets the entire thing move around, so that's pretty cool. And then the hips are similar to the front, to the shoulders, in that we have a hinge there, and it rotates all the way around. We have a hinge in the, I guess you could call it the knee area with pretty good range. We have another hinge in the reverse knee, which also has a swivel in it, so that's pretty good. And then we have an almost non-functioning hinge right there. So you do get some range out of it, but not a whole lot. So is it the best figure in the world? No, but for a crawler and for a collect and connect figure, I think it is more than appropriate, and I'm okay with that. So pretty happy with it. Uh, but here's my thought, and I mentioned this kind of earlier, I alluded to it. Do we want Build-A-Figures, or do we want more value on the individual figures that we buy? Uh, for instance, would we rather have more paint on the figures and then actually have to buy the crawler as a standalone figure? Me, personally, I would rather have the slightly higher quality and then have to buy an extra figure, rather than have the figure be the pack-in like the Build-A-Figure, or Collect and Connect, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think about that, and who knows, maybe that will play into their plans in the future. Probably not, but I don't know if they're ever going to see the video. Uh, but would you rather have the figures the way they are with the, with the Build-A-Figures packed in, or would you rather have a higher quality figure with the figure that you have to buy? Uh, now, I can see the benefits business-wise for both, and I can see the benefits for both options in terms of collectors. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Uh, me, personally, I'd rather pay more and have higher quality, but I'm not sure, or not pay more, but pay for more figures and have the higher quality, but I'm not sure that that's how most people would think. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel so I can, so you can see, not so I can see, so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. We have new videos every single day, so make sure you come back for that, and in the meantime, keep collecting.